Welcome back everyone. In the last lesson, we initialized our first API route and we started playing around with our server. What I want to do now is just do some extra configuration in our node project to allow us to get what we call hot reloading. And so let's get the setup and then you'll see very quickly the, the utility in what I am trying to do here. As we did with Express, we're going to be installing a third party library called Nodemon. So I'm going to say npm install nodemon and then we'll say dash dash save i'm going to hit enter and that's going to do the installation process once it's successfully loaded up and you can confirm that in your package.json you'll see nodemon has been installed so what nodemon allows us to do is initialize our express server and when we call it it's going to then listen for any changes we make in our code and every time we hit save in our IDE, it's going to stop and restart the, the server automatically. To test this out, I'm going to go to our terminal. We will type in nodemon and then index.js. So very similar to the previous one, instead of just using the node command, we're using nodemon to make sure that um, we use the, the nodemon package. So to get nodemon working, we're going to take a look at this scripts key here in our package.json. You will notice that there is a a current script here called test and so just to to show you what's going on here we can run these scripts by saying npm and then referencing the key of the script that's listed in here so we can say npm test and then you will see we get a this echo here error no test specified and it exits at one so this is not very meaningful to us at this point of time i am going to just delete that out and i'm going to instead implement our own script called test. We are now going to make use of that nodemon command. So it'll be nodemon and then index.js. And so when we call npm start in our terminal, it's going to go and look in the script section, find the start key, and it's going to run this command. So if I hit npm start, you will now see that um, name of our project and version has started. And then you'll see it runs this nodemon index.js command. And then we've got some output here from Nodemon and it's saying it's starting node index.js. And then you'll see, as we've seen this before, the Express server is listening on 3000. Pretty simple at this point in time. What I do want to show you is like what the utility is, because you may be asking, okay, well, what's the point? The server is just listening exactly the same. But in that last lesson, we were playing around with different names of this route. I want to revert it back to what we had, which was just a slash. Now that I've made this change, you'll see I've got some changes in this file. What we had to do normally was save this file, kill the server, restart the server, and then just take a look at what's happening here. If I hit um, Command S, you'll see on, on the left here in my terminal, uh, Nodemon has restarted because it detected changes in my code base. It's restarted the server and then um, the express server is now listening on 3000. And so this is pretty useful. We can make any changes we want. And if we hit enter, you'll see the server restarts. And then if we navigate to our default route, you'll see that those changes are being reflected in our server. All right. And so with all of that set up, I think we can close off this section. The whole section was dedicated to getting this project initialized and getting to a point where we can actually start learning how to use Passport and the local authentication strategy that it offers. So good job for getting this far. I think we've made good progress. I'll see you on over in the next lesson. Cheers for now.